In this lecture, we're going to talk about the optical properties of dental materials. Light. Light is electromagnetic radiation resulted in changes of the state of electron cover, including ultraviolet, infrared, and X-ray radiation. Dual character. It's a stream of material particles, photons widespreading as electromagnetic waves. Visible light has a wavelength in the range from approximately 380 nanometers to about 760 nanometers. When light is refracted by a prism, dispersion causes separation of colors, violet, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Consequently, the white light is polychromatic, which is a mixture of the various wavelengths. Color and brightness. For an object to be visible, it must reflect or transmit light incident on it from an external source. The reflected light intensity and the combined intensities of the wavelengths presented in incident and reflected light determine the appearance properties, hue, value and chroma of the colour. Consequently, to understand the colour, we must have to know the nature of the optical processes, reflection, refraction and absorption. Reflection. Reflection of light is either specular mirror-like, or diffuse, depending on the nature of the interface. Brightness is a colour property, expressed mainly in metals. It depends on quantity of reflected light. High brightness, nearly all the incident light is reflected. Picture A shows mirror-like reflection. The incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. B shows scattered diffusive reflection when the surface roughness is higher than the incident light wavelength. Picture C shows directed diffusive reflection. If the surface roughness is commensurable with the incident light wavelength. In dentistry, mirror-like reflection of ceramic construction can be resulted only if the opaque layer is backed in temperature higher than recommended. After correct backing, the opaque porcelain diffusively reflects the light. Refraction is the change in direction of a wave due to change in its speed. This is commonly observed when a wave passes from one medium to another. Absorption the property of the material to let light pass through it. Opacity the object does not let the incident light pass through it. An opaque substance transmits no light and therefore reflects, scatters or absorbs all of it. The black body absorbs all light. The white body reflects all light. Transparency. Nearly all the light passes through an object. The glass can be used as a standard for transparency. About 90% of the incident light can pass through it. Translucency is where not all, but some of the light passes through the object. Semi-transparent object, or a matte glass for example, has a transparency coefficient of about 50%. The colour of an object is determined on the spectrum and the intensity of the instant light on it and the changes of the light in contact with it as well. Consequently, the colour is determined on the reflected light composition, wavelengths, a body reflecting particular spectrum range to the white light and absorbing the rest is coloured with the colour of the reflected light. Optical properties, for example, metamerism. It's the property of the material to have different colours in illuminating by different light sources. Daylight, incandescent and fluorescent lamps are common sources of light in the dental operatory or laboratory and each of these have different spectral distribution. Objects that appear to be colour matched under one type of light may appear different under another light source. Metameric pair, a pair of objects whose colours match when viewed in a described way but which do not match if the viewing conditions are changed. Opalescence, the originating of a rainbow inside a material with little opacity due to the interference of light waves owing to the inside defects and microstructural inhomogeneity. The phenomenon is named after the appearance of opals. Teeth opalescence is the result of interaction of light with enamel prisms, reflection, reflection and interference. Luminescence. The property of the materials to absorb the energy and to emit as visible light. There are two types of luminescence. The first one is fluorescence, which is the emission of light by a substance that has absorbed 
light of other electromagnetic radiation of a different wavelength. In most cases, emitted light has a longer wavelength. Fluorescence, as distinguished from phosphorescence, does not persist for an appreciable time after the termination of the excitation process. Phosphorescence is a specific type of photoluminescence related to fluorescence. Unlike fluorescence, a phosphorescent material does not immediately re-emit the radiation it absorbs and emits it a long time after excitation. In dentistry, natural tooth structure absorbs light at wavelengths too short to be visible. These wavelengths, between 300 to 400 nanometers, are referred to as near ultraviolet radiation. Natural sunlight, photo flash lamps, and certain types of vapor lamps and ultraviolet lights used in decorative lighting are sources containing substantial amounts of near ultraviolet radiation. The energy that the tooth absorbs is converted into light with longer wavelengths, in which case the tooth actually becomes a light source, the fluorescence process. The emitted light, a blue-white colour, is primarily in the 400 to 450 nanometer range. For example, a person with a ceramic crown or composite restoration that lack fluorescent agent appear to be missing teeth when viewed under a black light in a nightclub. <coughs> colour parameters. Munsell's colour system is colour space that specifies colours based on three colour dimensions, hue, value and chroma. Hue is measured by degrees around horizontal circles. Chroma is measured radially outward from the neutral vertical axis. Value is measured ver vertically from 0 to 10, black to white. Hue describes the dominant colour of an object, red, green or blue. This refers to the dominant wavelengths present in the spectral distribution. The continuum of these hues creates the colour solid. value identifies the lightness or darkness of a colour. It increases towards the top to white value 10, decreases towards the bottom to dark or more black value 0 and can be measured independently of hue. Neutral greys lie along the vertical axis between black and white. Chroma represents the degree of saturation of a particular hue. It varies horizontally in Munsell's colour system. The higher the chroma, the more intensive the colour. Chroma is not considered separately in dentistry. It is always associated with hue and value of dental tissues, restoration and prosthesis. In changing the chroma, the value also has to be changed. The higher the chroma, the darker the value. A colour wheel, or colour circle, is an abstract illustrative organisation of colour hues around a circle that shows relationships between primary colours, secondary colours, complementary colours. Primary colours consist of red, yellow and blue. Secondary colours consist of green, orange and violet. Complementary colours are pairs of colours that are of opposite hue in the colour wheel, for example red and green. There are several systems for colour determination. In the dental operatory or laboratory, colour matching is usually performed by the use of a shade guide to select the colour of ceramic veneers, inlays or crowns to be made by the laboratory technician. Using these shade tabs, one can specify the colour characteristics, hue, value and chroma, and translucency to the technician, who will produce the proper appearance in the laboratory. If the technician can see the actual teeth, the probability of achieving an acceptable colour match is even greater. The Vita Shade Guide is the most commonly used for determining teeth colour in dentistry. The arrangement of the shade guides in the Vita Classical A1 to D4 Shade Guide is as follows. A1 to A4 gives reddish brownish, B1 to B4 is reddish yellowish, C1 to C4 is greyish shades, and D2 to D4 is reddish grey. The, the chroma increases and the value decreases with increases the number from 1 to 4. Tips for shade taking. If possible, determine the shade under daylight conditions or standardized daylight lamps and not under normal indoor lighting conditions. The shade taking environment should preferably be in muted colors. 
Patients should be asked to remove lipstick or any cosmetics which could have an influence on shade taking. Clothing in pronounced colours should be covered with a grey overall. Make your choice swiftly. Always accept your first decision since the eyes begin to tire after approximately 5 to 7 seconds. The chromoscope shade guide is the same principle of arrangement like the Vita shade guide. Increasing of the number shows increasing the chroma and decreasing the value of the colour. All 22 shades are positioned on individual supports that can be removed from the shade guide for detailed shade selection. The difference is 5 colour groups 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500. Designation is only by numbers. Tips for shade selection. For the accurate selection of the tooth shade, the surrounding conditions and the correct procedures should be observed. The colour of the room, neutral colours, for example grey with only minor colour effects. Artificial light, ideally a daylight lamp D65 with an illumination of 1200 to 1500 lux. Daylight, northern light preferably at 10 o'clock in the morning. Patients should cover coloured clothes with a neutral cloth. More tips. Carry out shade selection prior to the actual treatment, which prevents the teeth from dehydrating. Determine the amber or grey colour type of the patient according to the Ivocular Vivident colour typology. Determine the definite base shade of the patient and remove the corresponding shade group. Determine the shade intensity within the shade group. Compare the selected shade once again with a natural tooth. Technological properties. Technology or technological process is a combination of different methods and operations for treatment of materials. Technological properties determine the possibility for treatment of materials in definite conditions. Plasticity, fluidity of a molten metal and welding ability. Plasticity is the technological and mechanical property of a material to undergo permanent deformation under load. In dentistry, waxes, restoration and impression materials possess this property. The plasticity of metals and alloys is used in forging, stamping, rolling and, and the drawing process. Fluidity of a molten metal is the ability of a molten metal to flow and fill a channel or cavity. The factors influ influencing fluidity are the chemical composition of the alloy. Viscosity. The higher the viscosity, the lower the fluidity of the molten metal. Temperature of overheating the molten metal above the melting point does cause the fluidity to increase with the increasing temperature, but the excessive overheating leads to the increasing of molten metal reactivity, resulting in the formation of undesired compounds, for example oxides, nitrides and carbides. The temperature interval of melting. The narrower the interval leads to higher fluidity. The pressure on the metal during casting process. The fluidity, fluidity increases with increasing the pressure. Measure, me methods for measuring fluidity is the first one can be the method of Kaminsky. The test specimen is of mesh type consisting of 100 squares, 10 by 10 millimeters, made of wax. The material is of high fluidity if all the squares are filled. The weldability, also known as joinability of a material, refers to its ability to be welded. A material's weldability is used to determine the welding process and to compare the final weld quality to other materials. The two main methods of welding is welding by melting and welding by pressure. That concludes the lecture on the optical properties of dental materials. If you click the link in the description below, there will be some test questions on the blogger page for this lecture and also the lecture previous to this one. And make sure you subscribe. The next lecture will be on gypsum and the one following that I think should be on artificial types of teeth. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.